That's good. Yeah, the meeting will come to order. I've already kind of explained the situation we have. You and I are both going to uh, uh, waive our opening statements as are our witnesses, and uh, then we get right into questions. I think we'll be fine with the votes coming up that way. So uh, that being the case, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and just uh, start with questions. And I, I've got, I only have one that I really wanted to get to. And I talked to both of you guys uh, on, on other occasions about this, but uh, what we ran up against, and this was kind of a surprise to a lot of us, the NNSA's primary job is to build the, the nuclear warheads to meet the requirements of the Department of Defense. And earlier this year, when we heard that the NNSA budget had been cut. We called the DOD and asked them what they thought, and to my surprise, but I got a hold of them, they said they didn't know because they don't get it until after, uh, after uh, such time as, as the, as actually, the, I think the energy gets it first. And so they didn't have it. And that's something that I was, I'm not sure how it happened. Then I went back and, uh, and I've, I've talked to you folks about, what are you really able to do if you don't hear about what the budget is before it's it's a, the already signed off or in the process of being concluded? And that is something that we have a concern about. Then it reminded me, back when I was first elected, and, and that was when David Boren had this job, and he called me, I remember this, this was way back in 1994. He called me up and he said, well, you know, I've, I've, there's something I've been trying to get done for a long time and I failed. Maybe you can do it. And it was correcting this very problem that we're pointing out right now. So we may be addressing this. Uh, so the question I would ask you is, uh, do you agree this thing ought to be changed? You've got to be in on this thing to know. You, know. you remember what we did earlier this year. We had to go in and talk to the president because they had dropped the, the budget down uh, about, uh, about 8%. Uh, on NNSA, and uh, and nobody was aware of it except the Department of Energy. So we went and talked to the president and had a meeting, and we brought it back up to just under the, the twenty figure. So that's what happened there. Do you do you, uh, the two of you agree that this is something that needs to be corrected after all these years? Senator, uh, one, I, I applaud yours and the committee's leadership in, uh, in addressing the necessary resources for the nuclear weapons complex. Uh, that, along with nuclear command and control and recapitalization of the triad systems, are essential uh, for maintaining strategic deterrence, which is foundational to everything else we do inside the Defense Department. Uh, Chairman, you are well aware uh, of the responsibility of the Nuclear Weapons Council to certify in NSA's budget, and I have a role in providing a recommendation to the Nuclear Weapons Council to that end. Okay. Uh, if there are uh, weaknesses, and, and you uh, described one, in terms of our ability in a timely manner to do that, uh, that is something that uh, I will take up with the Secretary to address how we might be able to do that better. Well, why don't we do this uh, for the record? We'll just uh, start this, uh, this discussion going and not try to do it uh, under the timelines we're dealing with today. So I'll go ahead and um, had one other area to bring up. Oh yeah, L yeah last summer the, miss, uh, the Missile Defense Agency canceled the program to modernize the ground-based interceptors that were uh, up in Alaska and um, due to technical failures, and the next generation interceptor then we find will not likely be fielded until 2000. Uh, 30, and I think that'd be a good thing for you to answer on the record as to what about that gap? Can we handle that gap? Because everyone up here is going to be interested in that. Okay, uh, Senator Reid. 